I'm going to tell you something that every successful person has to do, including you. Believe it or not, every successful person in this world has jumped. I'm going to tell you what I mean by that. You eventually, you are going to have to jump. You cannot just exist in this life. You have got to try to live. If you are waking up thinking that it's got to be more to your life than it is, man, believe that it is. Believe in your heart of hearts that it is. But to get to that life, you're going to have to jump. Now, I'll tell you why I call it jumping. See, God, when he created all of us, he gave every last one of us a gift at birth. He never created a soul without endowing them with a gift. You just got to quit looking at gifts as running, jumping, singing, and dance. It's more than that. It's if you know how to network, if you can connect dots, if you draw, if you teach. Some of y'all fry chicken better than anybody else. Bake pie. Some of you cut hair, color hair. Some people do grass. I got a partner, man. We never wanted to go out with us because we stayed out too late. Come on, man, go out with now. I got to get up early, mom. Cutting Miss Johnson's grass. We kept laughing at this dude. Cutting grass. How much they pay you? He got a landscaping company in Cleveland worth $4 million. Because all he do is cut grass. But he was gifted at it. I got a partner on a detail shop, make $800,000 a year detailing cars. He got six mobile trucks running around. $800,000 a year. All he do is detail cars. That's his gift. That's what he loved to do. You've got to identify that gift. Now listen to me. When you see people in life, when you're standing on the cliff of life and you see people soaring by, and you see people soaring, going to exotic places, you hear about them doing wonderful things. Maybe you look up the street and your neighbor just gets a car every year and every two years. You know, how is he doing that? Have you ever thought, maybe this person right here has identified their gift and is living in their gift? Because your Bible says, this is your Bible says your gift will make room for you. Your gift, not your education. You go get an education, that's nice. But if you don't use your gift, that education ain't gonna take you so far. Man. I know a lot of people got degrees, man, and they ain't even using it. It's your gift. But the only way for you to soar is you got to jump. You got to take that gift that's packed away on your back. You got to jump off that cliff and pull that cord. That gift opens up and provides the soil. If you don't ever use it, you're going to just go to work. And if you're getting up going to work on a job every day that you hate going to, that ain't living, man. You just existed. At one point in time, you ought to see what living's like. But the only way to see what living's like, you got to jump. And here's the problem. Let me just be real with you. When you first jump, let me tell you something. Your parachute will not open right away. I, I'm sorry. I, I wish I could tell you it did, but it don't. When you jump, it's not going to open right away. You're going to hit them rocks. You're going to get some skin tore off on them cliffs. You're going to get all your clothes tore off. You're going to get some cuts on you. You're going to be bleeding pretty bad. But eventually... Eventually, the parachute has to open. That is a promise of God. That ain't a theory. That's a promise. His promises is true. Because listen to me. You cannot name one single thing God has not gotten you through. Name it. And if he ain't got you through it, he currently pulling you through it right now. And the living proof of it is you sitting in here. If he hadn't got you through it, you wouldn't even be here. So if he ain't never not got you through it, why would he not let your parachute open? He, it has to open, man. But you've got to jump, though. Now, here's another thing. You can play it safe and deal without the cuts and the tears. And you can stand on that cliff of life forever safe. 
But if you don't jump, I got another promise I can make you. Your parachute will never open. You'll never know. You'll never know what God really has for you. See, your God has a wonderful life for you. Once again, I'm going to refer to your Bible. Now, you go down there, you memorize these scriptures, you don't apply them to yourself. Your Bible says that he comes to give you life and give you life more abundantly. If I were you, I would jump. Because that's the only way to get to that abundant life. You got to jump, man. You got to take a chance. Now, when I get through talking, there are those of you who have discussed this in the car. Well, I got bills. And I got, I got bills. I, whether you stay on the cliff or you jump, you're going to have bills. Well, if I quit my job, I'm going to ruin my credit. If you got a job, you're living check to check. Even if you got A1 credit, you can't buy nothing else no damn way. At one point in time, man, do yourself a favor. Go, go see what God really do. God hold you up, man. He ain't going to let you fall. He ain't bring you this far and let you fall. Do yourself a favor, man. Before you leave this world, before you die, jump. Just jump one time. Just jump. Thank you very much.